Hello, it has been a minute since you all have heard my voice, and I've gotten a microphone since then. Some real big time stuff, I must say. Anyway, today I would like to discuss the early 2000s. I feel like the early 2000s have been a heavy area of discussion the past couple of years, specifically the fashions worn during the time. I feel like a lot of people think of a Paris Hilton, a Lizzie McGuire, maybe even an Ashley Tisdale when discussing 2000s fashion. But there's one lovely lady I feel like has been completely excluded from the conversation that should be discussed, and I'm sure you can tell by the title of the video, that is Miss Lindsay Bartelson, or Lily Finnerty, from the Fox and WB show Grounded for Life. In my opinion, Lily has some of the best outfits. I adore her style and attitude. She is such a 2000s drama queen. She's the sassy older sister who's always trying to defy her parents in any way that she can. And I think the only reason why she's absent from the conversation is because I gather that Grounded for Life wasn't a very popular sitcom. I'm in my early 20s, so during the early 2000s, I was a child, you know, I was busy playing outside and watching Nickelodeon and such. I was not watching Grounded for Life. I found it through reruns, but there were five seasons of the show, but it was on Fox until it got canceled two episodes in to season three, and then the WB picked it up for the rest of the series. And usually when a show switches networks like that, not the best sign that it was the most popular show. Another reason why I think Grounded for Life wasn't a super popular show is because while I was researching for this video, I found very little online discussion about it. I searched everywhere to find screenshots of Lily's outfits I wanted to talk about, and I could find nothing. So this is a formal apology. A lot of the pictures and videos I will be using today to discuss Lily's outfits were taken off of my laptop because I just could not find them anywhere else. Before we get into Lily's outfits, I would like to mention I actually really like Grounded for Life. I had so much fun re-watching it for this video. It's on Amazon Prime Video if anybody's actually interested in watching the show. Five seasons, real low commitment. Anyway, let's get into Lily's outfits. I will mainly be discussing seasons one and two because during those seasons, Lily has my favorite style. It's that real zany, spunky style that was seen a lot during the really early years of the decade and it inspires me so much. During this time, Mary Jane Fort was doing the wardrobe for the show, who most relevant to this video also did the outfits for Mean Girls and Bring It On. Starting with the pilot episode, Lily hits it out of the park. The color coordination in this outfit is a real winner for me. The way the blue in the sandal and the earrings relate back to the tank top and the fact that the jacket is the same color as the words princess on her tank top, the star hair clip and the spiky updo, it's a perfect way to introduce Lily's character. Not only is she the oldest child, but she's the only daughter and she will be treated like a princess. Then there's this funky fit. I again apologize about the video quality, but I love this outfit because this isn't a color combination I would come up with on my own, but it totally works. And what I really wanted to note here is Lily's hair. It is so cool. Lily definitely embraces early 2000s hairstyles head on. No pun intended. Here's some more examples. I wish these hairdos weren't so time consuming to do because I would love to rock these on a daily basis. I mean, come on. The only word you can use to describe this is fun. That's why I love this era of fashion so much. We were exiting the 90s and entering into a new century. We were trying to figure out what that meant for the world. It was all about experimenting with different color combinations and textures and silhouettes and just having a good time. This is one of my all-time favorite Lily looks. The outfit aside, I love the purples and the cheetah print but the hair, she has three ponytails in. She has the two pigtails in the front, and then she has a ponytail in the back, and then the ribbons and the beads. This is only a hairdo you could get away with in the early 2000s, and it's perfection. Just like with the princess tank top in the pilot, we got another shirt with a sassy saying on it. This one says, Lil Angel, it's baseball tee. It's so cute. It's also hilarious because as you can tell in this clip, we got some scandal going on in the Finnerty household. I also love this clip because I feel like you can really see how Lily acts and why I think Lily should be discussed in terms of 2000s drama queens. 
Moving on to this episode where the Finnerties go to a wedding, Lily is wearing this turquoise pencil dress with mesh sleeves and sequins. It is so darling. Her hair is crimped. She got heart barrettes in. Again, I'm not really here to analyze Lily's outfits as much as I'm just here to say this show exists and if you're not going to watch it for the plot, check out the outfits because I find it super inspiring. Lastly for seasons one and two is this casual little magenta number and I'm sure you're like, why are you talking about this outfit? I just really like her hair here and I also really like the checkerboard shirt. I feel like in recent years when checkerboard has been in style, it's mainly just been straightforward black and white. I love the magenta and the light pink and also I feel like magenta is one of Lily's signature colors. It's already been in several of the outfits I've already discussed and it's going to be in more of the outfits that I'm about to discuss. Moving on to seasons three and four, Florence Kemper did the wardrobe and for me her most notable credits are doing some of the outfits on All That, The Amanda Show, and Drake and Josh. And there's a very noticeable shift in Lily's style during this time. They strayed away from the more spunky looks during seasons one and two and now she's wearing a lot of these flowy v-neck blouses they're kind of reminiscent of the 70s to me somebody who's more knowledgeable in fashion you can let me know if there's an actual name for this type of look regardless it's very different compared to the earlier seasons another notable thing during this time is the color brown yes brown was huge during the early 2000s you either loved it or hated it Regardless, Lily wears a ton of it. So the first outfit I really want to discuss is this little paisley number. Absolutely love the top. The skirt is great too, but what I really want to discuss here is the jewelry set. Remember these where you would buy a necklace and it would come with earrings that match the necklace to a T? I just love when things are super duper coordinated. And the hair with this outfit, this spiky little bun, and the flowers in the hair. Come on, it is so cute, and Lily pulls it off so well. This right here is my favorite look Lily wears throughout the entire series. It's for her 16th birthday. I don't even really know how to describe it. It's like this funky green top, very much a thing during the early 2000s, and then this floor length patchwork skirt slit right up the middle matching jewelry set and the hair we all know what the drill is with the hair i think lizzie mcguire put the alternating curled and straightened pieces on the map but lily fanerty is absolutely pulling it off this is exactly how i would want to look on my birthday and at this point i don't know what i can do to convince you guys that Lily Finnerty has style, and as a society, we should be talking about it. Actually, I can. Check out Lily's sassy chenille robe with the cats and paw prints on it, and then this adorable floral halter dress with the classic 2000s color combo of brown and turquoise. I told you guys brown was gonna come up again. She wears it all the time. And we're back to magenta with this fit. I feel like this outfit is so of the time with a three quarter length sleeve shirt with a short sleeve shirt on top of it with the embroidered flowers, the cargo pants, and the grommet belt that is the exact same color as the three quarter length sleeve shirt. And the army green, again, another color combo I wouldn't have thought of myself. Where is this outfit currently? I want to wear it immediately. Everyone, look at this outfit. Do you see the Bratz coat? I think that's what most of us associate when we see a coat like this. I absolutely adore it. Love that it's striped. Love the outfit. Lily Finnerty is a fashion icon of the early 2000s and should be treated as such. Moving on to season 5, last season of the show, Erin LaRue did the wardrobe. I hope I pronounced her name correctly. And for me, her most notable credit is doing some of the wardrobe for This Is It. Excuse me, at this channel's core, we are a Michael Jackson stan account. But on to Lily. So I want to talk about this outfit because I feel like we do not talk about the early 2000s sporty looks enough because I absolutely love them. Like how Lily's shirt says eight on it. It's not for a specific sport or team. It's not really even athletic wear. It's just looking sporty for the sake of looking sporty. Like that was a thing in the early 2000s, just looking like you played sports. 
You go to the store and find all sorts of tops like this, and I absolutely love them. Lastly is this outfit right here. I just love how many different aesthetics we've seen Lily wear throughout the entirety of the show, and she pulls them all off flawlessly. The pants are really the star of this outfit. They're so cool. Lily Finnerty is so cool. If there's anything you take from this video, I hope it's that. If you're as obsessed with early 2000s fashion as I am, I hope you found a new character you can get some outfit inspiration from. And if you don't like early 2000s fashion, maybe you found your new favorite sitcom. I know it's one of my favorites. As always, thank you so much for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe. All that good stuff your actual favorite YouTubers tell you to do. Be sure to keep the conversation going in the comments. I would love to hear any thoughts you have. And I'm out!